There are so many people using Blender for different things in different fields you would never imagine, like medicine, live production, construction, and a lot more. Someone in my comments said they use Blender on stage for sound. I didn't even know that was possible. So I would really love to hear any unique ways you are using Blender in your field in, in the comments section. Anyway, this week is coming to an end. Let's take a look at some new add-ons that we are cooked up uh, this week. Starting with the animation generator add-on, which is a new way to create animations without using any keyframes. The add-on gives you an interface to design your own animations and interpolation, letting you create unique animations. You can easily animate different properties like scale, rotation, position, and more. It's just an amazing tool for creating motion graphics really quickly in one area without even touching keyframes or curves. The next add-on is a simple page flip or book generator. This is one of the hardest things to animate in Blender. You would think using a few blend modifiers and keyframes will do it, but no, it's way harder than that. So if you have ever wanted to have a magazine or page flip animation, check out this add-on. All you need is a number of images to use for each page in a folder. The add-on can import the images, set up the materials and meshes, and the animation for you. All you have to do is rely on a simple interface to add direct the animation as you want. Cables are a reliable way to make your scenes look more interesting. And the thing about them is that they can work in different scenes. In a sci-fi scene, they can be used as electrical cables. In a medieval scene, they can be used as ropes. You just have to change the textures and the materials. And in an Amazon forest or post-apocalypse scene, they can work as tree vines with some vegetation growth on them. The new physical cables add-on creates dynamic cables that can react to collisions, wind, and a procedure, giving you a wide range of options and customization. There are a lot of add-ons that help you speed up your render time, but what about add-ons that help you with viewport performance? Because if your viewport is laggy, you will never get to the rendering part. This add-on, Simplify Plus, is the add-on that is going to turn your Potato PC into a GigaChart PC capable of running 24 frames per second in your viewport. It works by actively disabling functions that reduce your viewport performance, simplifying your scene so that you can view real-time playback on any computer whether it's low end or high end in this age of ai we need to improvise adapt and overcome with add-ons like auto painter texturing from scratch is a difficult process that requires a lot of setup and a lot of experience things have changed and workflows are getting challenged and rewritten right in front of our eyes like how computers changed the art industry now painters coexist together with digital artists to create stunning art this is happening all over again. This auto painter changes how we do texture painting by creating a starting point for the artist, allowing them to add polishing touches and direct how things look, giving you an advantage over traditional artists. Like AI, artists are finding new ways and workflows to create art in more efficient ways, like the use of fake gold rays using this art. God rays require using a volume object which increases render time and also introduce fog that you may not want in your scene. Using fake god rays like this ensures you only get god rays where you want them and no residue fog where it's not needed, saving you computation time and render time for nearly identical results. Every traffic add-on blows my mind, especially if it's capable of creating procedure roads and direct traffic like this add-on does. You're not just getting a traffic generator, you are getting a procedure road generator, street generator, a bridge generator with traffic on top of it. It's simply amazing. Those who are making product rendering and commercials for products, you are going to love this new version of Node Wrangler, which brings new reflection maps, light maps, light gobos, and functionality to make the whole lighting process in Blender much more easier. And one of the key features of the Node Wrangler is its ability to just point and direct lights on any surface of your mesh. That function is now much faster and more responsive in your viewport, giving you real-time feedback during your lighting and they have also added a lot of new reflection lights to add reflections in your scenes. 
Blender may have left its game engine days behind, but the remnants of its interactive potential still exist under the surface. All the pieces are still there, all you need is the right tool to uncover them. And OmniStep is just that tool. It's a powerful new Blender tool that acts as the key to unlock Blender's game engine roots, providing you a scriptable first-person controller that transforms the software into a dynamic interactive animation and prototyping platform. Amazing for game developers. OmniStep includes a built-in game loop along with optional scripting to enable more sophisticated interactions and behaviors. With its customizable controls, OmniStep delivers movement mechanics, collision detection, and input handling on par with game engines, making it ideal for creating lifelike walkthroughs or ultra smooth fly throughs without the painstaking ma manual animations. It can even record player movements and actions, allowing you to craft interactive shots that bring a new level and immersion of your animations. If you are looking to create post-apocalyptic or wanton scenes, the destroyed building generator is a tool you need in your arsenal. This generator allows you to quickly generate realistic destroyed buildings with just a few clicks. Whether you need crumbling walls, shattered windows or collapsed structures, this generator has it all covered. It's perfect for adding ruined look to your environment making it easier than ever to create scenes filled with destruction and decay. If your project calls for a touch of chaos, the destroyed building generator will help you bring it to life. In the world of 3D, sometimes it's all about working smarter, not harder. You don't always have to model everything, you don't always have to text everything. Sometimes it's just better and efficient to take shortcuts, like achieving stunning results without spending hours on every tiny detail. One of the most effective feature is by just using a texture on a background and if you use an add-on like this AutoDepth AI, it can actually transform any texture you give it into actual geometry that is textured with the texture you have it. If you have a shop texture, it can create geometry out of that giving the illusion that you have an actual modeled building in the background. And finally, if you are looking to add detailed damage effects to your model, Destruction Tool is a must-have add-on. This powerful collection of geometry node setups allows you to easily incorporate rebar, cracks, wire mesh, scatter debris, and much more into your scene, all with just a few clicks. If you're creating weathered structured, battle-scarred objects, or crumbling environment, the Extraction Tools offers a wide range of customizable presets. If you want to check out any of these tools, links are going to be in the description. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.